What is going on guys? Happy holidays. If you need help finding a gift for either a pre-med or medical student in your life, this video is for you. I'm gonna go over some of the most helpful gadgets that I've accumulated over the years, anywhere from $5 all the way to $200. And these are things that are truly helpful for any student. So stay tuned. Quick announcement before we dive in. I'm gonna be traveling to East and Southeast Asia in 2019, and I wanna meet up with you guys. In fact, maybe even shoot a day in the life with some of you. So if you are interested, if you wanna meet up, then make sure you're subscribed to our email newsletter. That's medschoolinsiders.com forward slash newsletter. I'll have a link down in the description as well. Next week in that newsletter, I'm gonna be setting up the exact instructions as well as my itinerary, where I'm gonna be going, and how you can meet me. So it's gonna be a lot of fun, I'm excited, and I hope to see you out there. So there are eight items, again ranging from five to $200, and I'm gonna start with the cheapest ones and then work up from there. So number one, I started getting really into these when I was in med school because you're sitting and studying for prolonged periods and you get sore. You get, you know, knots in your back, maybe your butt's got a little bit sore from sitting too long, you know, your posture hasn't been the best, things like that. And these are essentially self-myofascial release balls. So first I have a lacrosse ball. You can get these for literally like $4 on Amazon. You can roll on this on your foot if you're at a standing desk like I am. You can, you know, push it against a wall, roll on your chest, things like that. This is the rubs ball. I heard about this from Tim Ferriss and it has the same function, but it has these little knobs and these little knobs kind of increase the, the intensity, if you will. And it's a little bit smaller than a typical lacrosse ball. The last thing is this peanut. I've seen people use it for, again, rolling on their feet. What I find this to be the most beneficial for is actually rolling it up along your back. So you put this on the ground, you lay on top of it, and your spine is gonna be here in the middle and your spinal erectors are gonna be getting massaged on either side by these two. These, these are essentially two lacrosse balls that have been like stuck together with this outer coating. So that is gift number one, price anywhere from like four to seven dollars. Item number two, a slim wallet. This, I don't know why it took me so long to get one of these. I was actually an intern in plastic surgery residency and at the beginning, you know, the first month, my chief was like, Kevin, why are you carrying like a big bulky wallet? Uh, and then he like whipped out his slim wallet. I was like, oh, that actually looks really, really convenient, especially when you're wearing scrubs. So I got one of these and have never looked back since. You can fit so many things in here. And even if you're not in scrubs, it's just less bulky, whether it's jeans, slacks, whatever, definitely worth it. Okay, next up is gonna be a power bank. So these are generally useful for most people, but even more so when you're a med student working in the hospital, because hospitals usually have terrible reception on your phones. And as a result, your phone will just drain that much faster. You don't want to put your phone on airplane mode because you sometimes need to get texts or phone calls from your team members and that would just look bad if they can't get a hold of you. So this is the first battery pack I got. This is a Kamashi, I think this is like 5000 mAh. This one was really useful and I use this for a long time as a med student, but the actual form factor isn't as convenient. So in residency, I got one of these. This is a, another battery pack, but this is super slim profile and slightly lower capacity, around 4,000 milliamp hours. But because of the slim profile, it just fits so much better in a scrub pocket or in your white coat. This is the one that I would recommend if you need a portable battery pack. Okay, for the next item, we actually need to go outside to my car, so come with me. This next purchase is one of my favorites in the last several months, and it only cost me $25. This is a phone mount and wireless charger, all built in one. So in the center here, you can see this is a Qi charger. That's why I have this wire coming out from it. Goes to the glove box where it actually plugs into the cigarette lighter. So I have another magnet in my phone case, which you can see right here. It comes with this little protective film so it doesn't actually scratch your phone. And then all you need to do is you literally just take your phone, it sticks there with a magnet and it automatically starts charging. So super simple, super easy to use, and extremely convenient. 
Anytime I need to drive somewhere and I want to listen to music or have navigation, I literally just take my phone out of my pocket, boom, it's there and ready to go. I don't need to mess with any mounts. I don't need to plug in any cables. It's just a really simple, elegant solution that I definitely recommend, especially if you drive frequently. All right, next one. So if you guys saw the day in the life of an orthopedic surgeon, you'll have met Dr. Randy McKnight. Now, Dr. Randy McKnight, this was back in 2016, so a little over two years ago, he convinced me to get one of these, Amazon Kindle. And I actually was gonna go with the regular one, the, the basic Kindle that didn't have a backlight. He's like, Kevin, no, you gotta get the paper white. You need the backlight, otherwise it's just not the same. I'm glad I listened to him because the backlight is super clutch. And this is, this is like literally the device that got me into reading again. I, before getting this device, I had probably read no more than like 15 books in my life for pleasure. And I mean like including the books that I was assigned in school. And after this, I was reading, you know, half a dozen books every month. It just made reading so convenient and so much fun. They recently released a new Kindle and I'll place a link to both of them down below. They're, they're pretty similar. The, the main benefit of the newer one is that it's waterproof, which is huge. Um, and it has a few you know, minor differences in terms of the backlight and the flush glass screen, things like that. I would honestly just go with whichever one is cheaper, but if that waterproofing is important to you, then definitely go with the newer option. Again, link to this and everything else is gonna be down in the description below. All right, next up, we got music. So two things. First, headphones, and if you guys saw my best headphones for students video, you'll understand why I really like these Beats X headphones. They are, first of all, wireless, and they use the Apple W1 chip, so if you have an iPhone, they work very nicely with the entire Apple ecosystem, actually. Um, and they, the great thing is that they have these tips, so you can put foam on them, which essentially act like earplugs, great for when you're studying or just trying to block out noise, because you don't have to crank up the volume and damage your ears. You just have these little, like, miniature earplugs in your ear, and it works wonders. So that's noise isolation. The second piece would be this. This is the Ultimate Ears Boom, the UE Boom. And I've had this speaker for several years. It's lasted me a while. These are very water resistant. So you can even I, I take this in the shower, listen to podcasts, things like that. If you have friends over and want to listen to some good music, these are just super rugged, su super durable. I don't think they sound as good as like the, the Bose Soundlink, but because of the durability, the 360 sound, you got speakers facing in you know both directions. I, I do think that this is the best portable Bluetooth speaker just for the, the durability, convenience, and the sound quality is still quite good. And lastly, this is gonna be the most expensive item on the list. This is the Echo Smart Stethoscope. I'll be doing a more complete video review in a future video, but this is like, I do believe that this is the future of medical education, having these smart devices like a smart stethoscope, which can really help medical students learn auscultation skills. They also have attachments where you can hook this up to a traditional stethoscope and get these smart functionality included. So the cool thing is you can actually record the sounds you hear with the stethoscope. You can see the waveforms. It's really useful as a tool in teaching students how to auscultate, how to learn the different heart sounds, how to learn different murmurs, all that good stuff. If you know a med student or soon to be med student who needs a stethoscope, I would definitely advise getting one of these Echo Smart Stethoscopes. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching. Happy holidays, whether that's Christmas or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or whatever you celebrate. Have a happy new year. Again, links to everything here is gonna be down in the description below, so check that out. And if you are gonna be in Asia in 2019, make sure you're signed up to the Med School Insiders newsletter because next week I'll be sending out the details as to how we can actually meet up. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in that next one.